So over the past couple of weeks, we've taken a look at the new warehouse management app using just some basic warehouse functions. We've, we've done, you know, inbound, we've done outbound. And what I thought we'd do today is let's take a look at some just basic inventory in warehouse processes. So what we're going to take a look at today is inventory movements. And what I'll do is I'm going to take two different types of inventory movements. There's a, a movement and then there's a movement by template. Okay. So these are very handy for different scenarios, right? So what the movement does is allows you to, or allows the user to scan a from location, scan an item, and then scan a, a to lo location. So the, basically the, um, the user is designating the from and to location. That's the, just the plain movement. Now we have another option is, which is called movement by template. And what that one does is you basically set up a work template and then a location directive and the user scans the from location and then using that location directive, it will, the system will determine the to location, the put location. So when might you use that one? You may not think of a good way, reason to use that one, but um, a real common scenario where I use that particular one, there's actually two fairly common scenarios where I use the movement by template. One of them is when I'm doing quality management work. So if you're doing quality management, now the quality management has changed. I will, let me just preface that a little bit. So it, it works better than it used to. And so this is more older than I used to use this for, but I think it still has some value there. Um, so when you're quality management and you've got items that have been finished through quality and they're just sitting there and need to be put away, you can scan the item and it'll tell you where to go put it away at. All right, again, so I, I will will say that, you know, quality management has changed. I, I do need to do another video on that just to kind of see show you what the new quality management process is because um, it does work a lot better than it used to. Now, the other thing that you might use it for is um, there's a new feature now that lets you not have to create work when you're doing your receiving. So what you do is you, and I'll link the video to that here. I, I did a video on that previously, which basically allows you to um, not receive using license plates is the title of that video. But basically what this allows you to do is not create work if you're doing a two-step process on the receiving on the first step, and then you want to do a put away yourself, you can use that movement by template. So what the movement by template allows you to do is to do the put away work, the second step of that purchasing work, right? And why you might, might want to do that is, again, to get rid of that license plate. A lot of people don't like dealing with the license plate on the receiving side. Okay, so just a couple of examples there. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in and let's take a look at this. So where we're going to go first, let's take a look at the movement one first. And so let's go to the mobile device menu items. And this is a very simple setup on this one. There's no other setup besides the menu item that you really need to do. So if we come down here and we look for a uh, movement, that's what I've got in my menu item here called. So the, the title is movement, mode is work, and then the work creation process you want to use is called movement, all right? So keep that in your back of your, your mind. I'm going to go ahead and go over the setup on the movement by template as well. But just So the first one is just the movement, um, again, to having the user tell it the from and the to location. Uh, all you have to do is this menu item. The movement by template's a little more complicated. Not bad, but it's, it's kind of the basic setup that we normally do in warehouse management. Is if, if we go into uh, warehouse management, we're gonna go to setup. Let's go to the location directive first. And the work order type is gonna be inventory movement. And then I've got a couple of uh, location directives here. I'm gonna use warehouse 24 today. So that's, so anything that I'm doing is gonna be warehouse 24. So I've got this 24 movement template here, and all I really need is this put side because the user is still going to determine the pickup side. So they're going to tell the starting location, and then the system is going to tell it where to put it. So pretty standard stuff here. I've got a put location directive for warehouse 24, all quantities regardless of unit and measure. And then so what I want it to do is I want to look for the fixed location first, and then if, if it won't fit in the fixed location or if there isn't a fixed location, I'm going to put it into a floor location, and if there's not a floor location available, it'll just find another location in the warehouse somewhere. Okay, so that's the location directive is going to determine the, the actual location. Then the other thing that you want to do on the movement by template is set up a work template. So if we go to work and then work templates, again, we'll choose um, inventory movement. And again, I'm using warehouse 24, so I have this template here. 
And it's just a simple pick and a put. I don't have a directive code here. You could, you could certainly set up a directive code if you want to and, and steer them in certain ways. But I've got a simple pick and put template, but you could have things going to a staging location. You have all the same features you do in the normal pick and, or the normal work template. But for this example, just using a, a simple pick and put. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at our mobile device menu setting on this one, so let's go to the mobile device menu item. And this one I have set up as movement by template. You know, this is a work. We're not using existing work and the work creation process is movement by template. The only thing I've got checked here is I'm, I'm having it generate a license plate if it needs one, um, just because I didn't want to type in a license plate. But um, if I need one, it'll generate the license plate. So the other thing I've specified is our work template that we created. So this is the, I've just specified the work template that we're going to use for this particular one. You can have different menu items tied to different work templates if you'd like. All right. So I've just specified our, our 24 uh, movement template here. Okay. So let's hop over and we'll take a look at our on-hand inventory here. So I've just gone to an on-hand screen. And the item we're going to be using today is a 51515. So I'm going to slide this over. These are all the same item. And I've got 2,100 of these in bulk. And then I have these other picking locations. Now, I will tell you that pick one is a fixed location for this item. So this item does have fixed locations. And if you remember on our movement by template location directive that I gave us, it is going to look for a fixed location first. So it should suggest that location for us. It's going to fit in that location. All right. So I think what I'll do just to demonstrate the movement um, template here, or just the normal movement, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some move an item from bulk 11 to pick 04. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm back to my main menu here. I have my movement set up under inventory. And then I have my movement and movement by template here. So if I go and click on movement, and again, this just as a reminder, this was the very simple one where all we needed is a location, or excuse me, not a location, but we needed a menu item set up, mobile menu item set up for a type of movement, all right? So the first thing it's going to ask me to is, is our from location. Let me slide this over so we can see our, um, kind of see our bulk. We'll, 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 here's our inventory and here's our uh, locations. We'll kind of split it up there. So what I want to do is I want to move this from bulk um, 011, and as normal, I'm typing these in. You would normally scan these. And the quantity it's going to take pick up is just what the quantity is in the, in the location, but we can change that. I'm going to click up in there. And I'm just going to move one, all right? Go ahead and hit enter there on the one. So what it's going to do is it's going to give tell me now where I want to move it to. So again, on this, this movement, it's very simple. It's, you're going to specify both the from and the to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to pick 04. So let me click up in there, pick 04, hit enter, and that's going to move that item. So if I click over here, so right now we've got 2160. I'll go ahead and refresh this screen, and now we have 2099 and 61. All right, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one from, from pick 04, and I'm going to have it suggest a location. So remember the way our location directive is set up, it should choose this pick 01 location. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Go back into our mobile device. And the new mobile device, let me slide this up a little bit, does have this slider on here if you haven't seen it. So if you slide right, that's going to be check, that's going to be the OK. You slide left, that's going to kind of be the cancel and any other options you might have. And I am able to hit enter on this as well, so I don't actually have to use the slider right here, but it but it is it, I, the the theory is it's on a phone and you can you can easily slip it, flip it back and forth there. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide it to the left there and hit cancel. And let's do the movement by template this time. All right. So still on the movement by template, we're going to have to tell it the from location. So remember, I'm going to move it from pick 04 and then have it suggest another location. So I'm going to put in uh, pick-04 and hit enter. And the quantity, again, I'm just going to move one here. Just going to move one and hit enter. And then what it's going to do, so I'm asking me to check my values and confirm. So, so I'm picking up from pick 04 of 51515 15 for one. Now, incidentally, I will say that we're not using, a, it's not asking me for the item number. This is the only item number in these locations. So if it if this location had multiple items in it, it would ask me to say, what, scan what item it, it, it 
you know needed. But since it's the only item there, it just defaults in the item that's that's there. All right. So here's what we're, we'll use the slider here for you. So this information is correct. I'm going to take my slider and go to the right. And that's going to be the OK. Now it's going to tell me to put it in pick 01. All right. Now, why is it doing that? Because pick 01 is the fixed location. It's used our work template, generated work, and it's, and it's using the location directive to say the fixed location for this is pick 01. So remember on our location directive, we had look find fixed locations first then look for floor locations, then find any location. So it will fit in our fixed location, so it's going to suggest that location. So again, we'll use the slider for this again, and we're going to go just slide that to the right, and it'll give us a work completed. All right. So if we come back over here, and we go and hit the refresh, now we'll see that this is back at 60, and now we have uh, 41 in our pick one location. Okay. So again, just showed you some simple processes. I use these, you know, these movements are going to be used a lot in the warehouse. It's, it's you always need to have these set up so that a worker can move items from A to B. What I tell people when I'm implementing warehouse management is you don't touch an item. An item doesn't move unless you've entered, done something in the gun, right, and in, in the device. So if you're going to move from shelf to shelf, you need to have a moving app for them to do it. And there, there are places for both of these to be used. You don't have to use them in every implementation, but uh, depending on what the customer's looking for you might want to use one or the other all right so again i hope you enjoyed this video you know a quick run through of what the new warehouse mobile app looks like on the movement side i i, I keep saying it but i think i like the look of this thing it's it's very clean it's a very nice i think it's easier to understand what to do on it um, got some pretty neat controls on it i uh, can't wait to use this out in the field just to see see what else what other benefits I can find from it. So I, I like it really nice. Uh, it's a really nice app uh, there. Okay. So if you enjoy this content, I put out once one of these videos about once a week, uh, generally on Thursday mornings, I release a new video. And this is the third part of this mobile device menu. So we've, we've got, I'm going to do one more here uh, that will come out next Thursday. Okay. So if you want to catch that next video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you get it, uh, notified when I upload a new video. All right. So uh, again, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, hope have a great week. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.